Now, the second news era is gradually winding down, albeit there is a Supreme Court case that is uh, in the cooler, how that pans out. But let's get to get some views from an experienced member of the PDP, a member of the House of Representatives, Honorable Fred Agbedi from Bayelsa State. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Yeah, great pleasure, Sheldon. Good evening and good evening to Nigerians and viewers. How would you assess the second news era of your party? I think, uh, to start with, he did his best for the party. You know that from where we were in the last election, we had uh, about 18 states through his leadership in the general election. He took the party around the nation. And, of course, at some point, some internal challenges set in. And that brought us to where we are. But what one can generally tell you is that PDP is a party that has come of age. From what we see the PDP did in the secondary crisis, you remember I was one of the persons on your program when the crisis were you know, looming. And I did make a recommendation at the end of that you know, uh, discourse. And I said that there was no need to chase anyone out. Rather, there should be early convention and then let new ESCO be elected and then be sworn in. Let the procedures, you know, be properly followed. And uh, the day after, I think there was NEC meeting, there was caucus meeting and all that. And it was as if we had that interaction, you know, before the program. So the party followed that through which clearly shows that the PDP has come of age. And I'm happy that we are procedural in what we are doing. This has happened before. This is not the first time. Um, it looks like deja vu. Whatever you see in the PDP, especially when you see crises over uh, the leadership of the party. Um, Mr. Sekandus is not quite happy with what is happening. He's in the Supreme Court trying to get the interpretation of the Apex Court on what happened, how he was removed, by at the world level and all of that. That's not the first time we've seen it happen in other police. In the APC, we saw that similar uh, situation happen. But the question is that whenever you see this happen in the PDP, it always backfires. Do you fear any kind of reprisal? <laughs> well, sure. <laughs> I've been a NEC member of this party since 2005 to date. I've been a NEC member. And I don't know what you mean by backfire. You it know. does backfire. I, I, I don't know. Do you remember I what happened have... to the Muhazu era? No. Do you see, remember what happened in the Adu era? We lost the election. I don't understand what you mean by backfire. When you I have mean, leadership you lost, crisis. You lost the election. You lost the election. In reality, I know you're a very modest person. But, I mean, truth, it, this is not the, facts, the fact are sacred. <laughs> um, when, you, when, you, when you have a leadership crisis and the following day you lose elections. When you have leadership crisis and you have exodus out of your party, isn't that the kind of backfiring? So let me tell you, wherever you find a number of people together, there's bound to be disagreement, there's bound to be crisis. And when there is crisis, how do the people manage their crisis? The laws allow for internal process of resolution of disagreements. Where the internal process cannot give succor or the, the, the aggrieved person don't feel that the, he is not being served justice. He can go to the regular course. That's what Secondus has done. Whether he's going to have what he wants at the regular court or not is a different ball game entirely. But I can quicken to tell you that the party is not undermining what he's doing. The party I know up till tomorrow has an avenue of reaching out to our former chairman, uh, Prince Uche well, Secondus, just to ensure that we should be together to win 2023. As and there's group, nothing wrong about As a that. party, has a party learned from the Secondus era, or whatever that has uh, come out of uh, the old issue? You see, when you say if the party has learned, what did I say? I said the PDP has come of age. That is why, that is why, from when the crisis began, 
to the convention, to after the convention, and then the processes that the party is adopting to ensure that the new executive comes on stream at the right time. They are not just sworn in after election as it used to be, but there are certain induction trainings that are being conducted you know, to abreast these newly elected people with the means and ways of running a political party. It's intended to strengthen the party and to ensure that the banana peels that some people fell into as national chairman, as members of national executive in previous escrows should not repeat itself. You don't see that the, the, some of the banana peels are still lying ahead or the landmines? Well, you see, like you said, the second use is in the Supreme Court and all that. That is his right. There's nothing wrong about that. But I told you again that the party is not lying low about it. While Secundus is in Supreme Court, the party and leaders of the party are still making overshots to ensure that, you know, we will resolve these issues and move on. Whatever it is, a judgment is going to come. You remember, a day to the convention, judgments were expected. On the day of convention, judgments were expected. And they came. And the party moved on. So in this same strength, the party will move on when the judgment comes. You, you see, when you look at the issues being canvassed, he is asking for the court to protect his rights. Asking for the court to protect your rights has to do with whether your right at the time was valid, whether it is still valid, or it can be validated. Second and you don't think that the outcome of the Supreme Court can destabilize the party? Nobody knows what the Supreme Court is going to so say. The but for here, us as a party, mm -hmm. we feel that we have moved on. We feel that Secundus will come on board with us as a former chairman of the party, as one of us. He will come to strengthen the party whenever these issues are clear, either through the court or through the other medium of interaction and uh, dialogue. As the leader of the party, uh, the Senator Yocha, are you? Elect, uh, uh, led, uh, NWC elect will be coming on stream if they are inaugurated on the 9th or on the 10th, as I'm understanding. What is the biggest lesson that they need to learn? Of course, the biggest lesson is to ensure that you give a level playing ground to everybody. You interact with all and sundry that is in the party. You listen to party members and you make sure that at all times you are on the same platform with them. I know Senator Yoshi Ayu was my Senate president in 1992 when we were in the National Assembly. He was in the Senate, I was in the House of Reps. He's an intellectual. He's a man that has traversed several routes. He's a man who is knowledgeable. He's a humble person, even by his, his, his appearance and self-conduct. You know that it's a humble person. And for you to lead, if you lead with humility, if you lead with understanding of the issues, if you lead with understanding of human perspectives and behavior, you will be able to galvanize. And he, will he be able to galvanize? Or that of NWC course. is able to galvanize the party of to course. victory? With 20, the support of all of us around him, with the support of all of us around him. He's a popular him. candidate for the party. Of course he is. You'll be able to win election 2023? Let me assure you... Is there that, hope? Let me assure you that Nigerians are looking onto one party alone, and that is the PDP. You know why? The PDP led this country for 16 years. They have seen the difference between the 16 years and the almost seven years that we are into. They have seen the difference. They have also known that if you made mistakes before and you come back to power, you will know how to correct the mistakes you have done before. So the only tested party that can lead Nigeria from tomorrow in 2023 is PDP. Hmm. You know, I know that people I are talking I... about third force, this force, we have that, that. You see, <laughs> to win an election, to prosecute a national election from a point of opposition, it's not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing. You must have understanding 
you must have the structures. And PDP has the structures down to the community uh, world level. We, we, we and that our, is why we are very confused. We see how that plays out. We work much harder than we did before, and then we'll get... Uh, uh, we wish you good luck. You had that good luck on the ballot <laughs> at some point, and we wish you good luck yet again. Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank uh, for joining us much. tonight, Honorable Fred Agbedi, a leader of uh, the PDP, and, of course, a member representing PDP, I mean, uh, Bios State in the House of Representatives. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank I appreciate you. it. Well, that's our show for today, everyone. Many thanks for watching. Bye-bye.